yeah we are live now so welcome to our live session today all of you who are watching uh the session now and uh yeah so we are the representative for victoria university of wellington in bangladesh so today we have very special guest uh, from the international admission mr martin uh hi mr martin welcome to our live session today hello everyone and thank you for having me Oh, thank you. So, uh, firstly, I'd, li I'd like to uh, thank you for accepting our invitation to attend the Facebook live session because you are super busy, I know. So, uh, okay, so today we are going to ask uh, you all of the questions normally students wants to know about Victoria University of Wellington. So, first of all, could you please uh, provide uh, information about the Victoria University of Wellington, including its history or academic reputation sure sure so um hello everyone my name is martin i'm from the international office at victoria university of wellington and um yeah so today i would um, try to answer uh, all or most of the questions that you may have about our university um so our university is uh located in uh wellington which is the capital of new zealand which is located pretty much in the center of the country um, um at the bottom end of the north island so and um we are the capital city of new zealand um, which has about a half a million um, um citizens so this is kind of the, the overall picture of our university and <clears throat> Our university was established in uh, 19, sorry, 1897, um, and we are a, a public university. We have uh, three campuses across uh, Wellington. Um, they are all within walking distance to each other. And we have about 21,000 students uh, studying with us, of which about 2,700 are international students. We have nine faculties in total, eight of them are teaching, and our ninth faculty um, is um, uh, our, for our PhD and research students. So in terms of uh, rankings and accreditations, uh, I think we are doing quite well. So we are, um, uh, there's a, a, a New Zealand internal ranking, which is uh, usually done every six years. And we have come out on top of that twice for research intensity, that makes us very proud. Um, as well as uh, internationally ranked, we are uh, in the top 2% in the world. And we also have uh, uh, 10 subjects areas where we are in the top 100 in the world. For accreditations, um, our uh, business school, for example, is triple crown accredited. What does that mean? Um, it means that there are three institutions, AQUIS, AACSB and EMBA. They rank business schools of universities across the world. And only if you get a good rating from all three, this is called triple crown accreditation. There are not that many universities in the world that have that. So we are very proud of that. Of course, also for accounting in particular, if students are looking to be chartered accountants in Australia and New Zealand, we do have accreditation with CAA and Z as well. And um, uh, another one that I would like to point out is our engineering faculty. Um, our engineering programs are uh, registered with uh, um, the Washington Accord, which means they are recognized throughout the world. I think. And there are other accreditations and uh, industry recognitions, but I think those are the, the top ones that um, um, students probably want to know about. Thank, thank you. So, and then what makes uh, Victoria University of Wellington stand out as a preferred choice for industry students? Are there any unique academic programs, research sure. opportunities um, mm -hmm. uh, that set the university apart? Okay, so I think in general, I think studying in New Zealand already sets a lot of students apart from many other international students because it's a, it's quite a unique destination. We have only eight universities across the country. They are all very highly ranked. Um, our university, obviously, we are based in the capital. So we are um, have very close ties to our government. We work very closely with them. We are physically very closely located to this government. Um, and also, 
also, I think we do have uh, uh, programs that are um, that we either specialize in or that they are unique to us as well. Um, and uh, anything, for example, related to the public sector, that would obviously be our domain uh, with public management, public policy, service delivery, and so on and so forth. But also students who study international relations or international business, um, you know, we are surrounded by embassies, by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Um, I think this gives them a, a great environment to study in. Uh, we are also highly ranked in uh, um, law, and again, law and uh, the government often goes hand in hand, and our law school is actually located right opposite parliament, so um, they can see from their lecture theatre, they can look out of the window and see where the action happens. Um, we offer, we are one of two universities in New Zealand that offer architecture as well. So that's um, probably uh, an area where we specialize. Our engineering faculty is IT focused only. So we do um, cybersecurity, we do uh, software engineering, robotics, machine learning, artificial intelligence. So those are the areas where we shine. Um, we also have a strong, um, uh, humanities department with languages as well and uh, also our science department when it comes to marine biology conservation biology and other areas i think we are quite specialized in this area oh, thank you i think there are so many other things you can uh inform to the students but you had very short time so that's why yeah shortly yeah okay thank you and uh so please outline Already you uh, explained some courses, especially for IT programs, but please outline the range of undergraduate and postgraduate programs available at our university along with any specialized areas of study. All right. Okay. So um, obviously I cannot go too much into detail because with all the majors within, for example, undergraduate programs, this is hundreds of opportunities and, yeah. and study options. Mm -hmm. So first of all, most of our undergraduate programs are three years. There is about three of them that are four years by nature, but most of them are three years. Um, and there is a mixture between structured and flexible uh, degrees. Uh, structured means um, students are quite um, have quite a prescribed pathway through the program and the courses are kind of set um, for them. Um, flexible degrees, as the name suggests, are very flexible. Students can do double majors and um, go pretty wild in those degrees. So we offer Bachelor of Arts, Global Business, uh, sorry, Global Studies, Communication, Music. In Science, we offer Science, Biomedical Science and Psychology. We offer Bachelor of Engineering, uh, Bachelor of Health, Bachelor of Midwifery, Bachelor of Commerce, of course, Architecture, Building Science, Design Innovation, Education and Law. Those are our bachelor's degrees. And the interesting part with our bachelor degrees is that students, um, as, as soon as they meet the entry requirement, they can go into any of our bachelor's degrees. So there's only one entry requirement. Our architecture and design program also does not require a portfolio if students want to start in first year bachelor's. At masters, this is a little bit tricky because there are so many masters. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I think if I point a few out per faculty would probably be the easiest. Um, if we look at humanities, there we offer linguistics, TESOL, international relations, music therapy, political science. For science, uh, we have climate change, science and policy, marine conservation, conservation biology, data science, drug discovery and development. Engineering looks at artificial intelligence, engineering, renewable energy, software development. We have in the health faculty, we have a master of health, health psychology, uh, nursing practice. Um, we have then for commerce, we have global business, professional accounting, professional business analysis, actuarial science, architecture and design. We do um, architecture, interior architect, ar <coughs> excuse me, architecture, urban and regional planning, design, user experience design. In education, we offer teacher training through a, um, a graduate diploma in teaching for primary and secondary school teaching. We offer also a master of education as well as educational psychology. And in law, we offer a, a master of laws as well as a master of international trade. 
that I know that's a lot of information. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have too many programs. I believe that it will take a long time. We want to finish all the programs, name and details. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely, mm, we got uh, a good response from uh, too many students from my country, from Bangladesh, that they was to go for Master of Health and mm -hmm. uh, they wants to go for Master of Education and uh, mm, they want to go for Master of Law. So mm -hmm. I, I, I know that you have other appointments, but I just request you to say something uh, for these uh, three programs. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. So for our Master of Health, um, I think the most popular uh, choice as because they, there are specializations within the Master of Health. And I think the, the most uh, popular uh, choices would probably be um, the health leadership, uh, leadership and management, as well as um, the uh, health promotion. I believe in Bangladesh, you may call it public health. Uh, we mm -hmm. call it health promotion. I think those would be the two most popular specializations, but there are, I think another five or six that students can choose from. Okay. For um, education, the Master of Education is interesting as there are a number, I think there are five or six majors that students can take within the program. Um, here students must remember that the Master of Education does not lead to teacher registration. So students need to me be sure before they apply, do I want to become a registered teacher in New Zealand or do I want to do the Master of Education, which is a specialization master? The same um, is kind of the Master of Laws. It does not lead to the uh, to uh, admission to the bar in New Zealand. There are other programs they do that. Um, that is a specialization master if students want to go into um, dive deeper into a specific area of law and learn more about it. Um, those programs are uh, all, now I need to think, I think they are all one year programs. Um, so master programs vary between one and two years. Oh, thank you. Uh, I forgot to ask you one more question uh, regarding sure. master of architecture, because yeah. there are too many inquiries we got uh, regarding this course, but I, I, I know, but definitely they, uh, want to know from you that um, will they will get any approval after finish? Uh, that there will sure. be any approval from uh, the government that for as an approved architect. So yes. after okay. the masters, yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm not quite sure if the approval comes from the government, but it comes from the um, um, Architecture Society uh, in okay. New Zealand. Okay. Um, and we, when students go on our website, they realize, oh, there are um, three master programs that have the word architecture in it. Um, but if students are looking for a uh, to become a registered architect in New Zealand, they need to study the Master of Architecture professional. That's okay. the one that leads to uh, registration, and that is a two years program. The other two are, like the others, more specialization masters. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing uh, I, I have not touched on yet is also in all of the fields that we offer, we also offer PhD studies. So if you have students that are already beyond masters, obviously there are also PhD options as well. Okay, oh, thank you. Um, so, so could you, uh, describe the university's campus facilities, including accommodation options, libraries, sports facilities, and student support services. Shortly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me try. So um, as I mentioned before, we have three campuses. They are within walking distance to each other, and they are embedded in the, in the city. So we don't have like a fenced off um, um, campus, right? Um, and uh, the facilities, um, we have Kelburn, which is our main campus. This is where we have uh, uh, most of the faculties. Uh, the other two campuses are a bit smaller as they only house uh, one or two faculties. Um, we do have a library on each. I think on one campus we have two libraries, the other two have one. Um, and uh, obviously there are um, lecture theaters which can house like hundreds of students. And then we have uh, uh, smaller rooms for tutorials, for group works and so on and so forth. And there's also plenty of hangout space. There are food outlets on campuses as well. But as I mentioned before, we're also embedded in the city. So students can also just go to the supermarket around the corner. 
Um, accommodation, we have um, 13 halls of residence. I hope I've got the number right. Uh, 13 halls of residence. And um, you could say that our three campuses are uh, located like I kind of in a triangle and the accommodation is within this triangle. So it would be in the city within walking distance to the campuses. Okay, that, that sounds great. So, uh, so now can you tell us something about the tuition fees? Mm -hmm. So um, the tuition fees obviously depend on the program that the student is studying. So um, the easiest thing is to really go on our website and uh, look at the individual degree page or download our international prospectus and there are all the programs with all the fees are uh, listed there. Obviously, they are all in New Zealand dollars, not American dollars, not Australian dollars in New Zealand dollars. Um, and um, student would pay their tuition fees uh, usually one academic year in advance, which is two trimesters or 120 points. Um, if students pay, for example, if there's a master program that is 180 points, which many of them are, um, then uh, they could potentially get the visa for the full duration. Um, if they pay for the 120 points first, then they just need to renew their visa once they get to the end of the first academic year. Um, so I can't really touch on individual fees because it really depends on the program that the students wants to study. So easiest thing really is to go online, have a look, and then use Google um, you know, currency converter to see what that is in, yeah. in, in, in your uh, in rupees. Thank you. And that is the that is another most important question that a student uh, asked us about uh, scholarship. That are there any scholarships or financial aid option available for the international student who wants to uh, study in our university? If so, what are the eligibility criteria and application procedures? All right. Okay. So first of all, students can also work during their studies. So that's another thing that students often ask in, in connection with fees and stuff. So students can usually work 20 hours per week and um, full time during any scheduled holidays. Um, for the scholarships, there are some scholarships available. Um, again, they're all listed on the website. There are some that are... Um, uh, automatic scholarships. Um, so for example, some of the uh, master degrees have an automatic scholarship uh, that students don't need to apply for. They just need to meet the entry requirements to the course. And once they get um, the offer of place, that uh, scholarship will automatically apply. Um, the other um, uh, uh, option is we also have, uh, so for example, the Tonga Reva scholarship. That is a, um, a kind of a flexible open scholarship that can be applied to almost all programs. Uh, um, it, um, students would need to apply. There's an application deadline. Students, it's based on their merits, but also they need to write a statement um, uh, to go along with the application. Um, the last thing that I would like to mention is that at PhD level, this is interesting for students because um, for bachelor and master students pay international fees in New Zealand. But at PhD level, international students pay domestic fees. So um, that is significantly lowered because the government subsidizes that studies. So um, that is probably also a kind of a scholarship that students uh, will receive. Oh, okay. And and the other question is, are there any employment support services or internship opportunities available? So for, um, for let's start with internship. Um, so there are programs that have an internship uh, included. Um, there are programs that don't. Um, so it depends on how the program is structured. Um, there are also some programs that have uh, placements or industry projects. Um, so that would not be full-blown internships, but then the industry gives us a project to work on and our students work with the industry to deliver that project. Um, so this is uh, uh, something that students can also find out when they go on the website and read through the program, which program has a, a placement or an internship or something uh, included. Um, for the uh, uh, employment um, 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 afterwards, you know, when students have finished their, their qualification, um, they can usually apply for a post-study work visa. And this is up to three years, depending on, on what kind of qualification they have studied. Um, 
<clears throat> we have a careers development team. They help students with um, interview skill training, with um, with uh, CV writing, with uh, they run careers expos on campus where they invite um, the, the industry to come to campus to talk to our students. And then hopefully that sparks a good conversation and leads to employment. And that service is available for students for three years after they have graduated. Okay, thanks to you. So, and uh, finally, uh, just uh, you uh, explain all the details. Uh, um, and I believe the students got all the information what they want to know. And what the collaboration or partnership uh, between Sunway Admission and Victoria University of Wellington and how does the, this partnership benefit prospect to students from Bangladesh? Sure. So, um, um, Sunway is um, uh, um, our agent partner. Uh, agent partner in uh, Bangladesh. So what that means is that um, we have an agreement with Sunway um, and uh, that that is a requirement to actually work with uh, with each other. And uh, that also means that um, Sunway team has been trained on um, our, our programs, on our facilities, location, and so on and so forth. Um, and also we had you, you coming to our campus so you know what it looks like and um, you know how how things are what are the distances between campuses etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and uh, you uh, uh, lodge the application for students you can certify documents for students that is a requirement from the university that certain documents must be certified um, and uh, Sunway can do that uh, uh, on behalf of the university um, and then also um, I think this is what most students um, are worried about is a visa application because that mm -hmm. could be uh, you know a little bit trickier than an application for a program and this is where uh, you guys also come in and help the students oh thanks thanks to you for your kind words for us and uh, I know, Martin, you are busy, but uh, you, you are giving time to us. So I really appreciate that. And uh, I believe that from this live session, uh, who are watching this now and who will later watch this video, so definitely they will be benefited if they want to study in New Zealand, especially uh, master courses already. Martin explained very well. And as, as, as an official representative for Bangladesh, uh, definitely if you want to know more uh, uh, about the university programs or anything, so please contact with us or you can contact directly to the university also. And um, there is the good news that we want to share with the students that we are going to arrange a webinar. So uh, later on, definitely you can follow our page so you can uh, you will know uh, later that when the webinar will be held. So definitely on that time, you can get the chance to talk with uh, Martin and their international team. And Martin, again, thanks to you to join the session and hope uh, we will uh, see you again very soon. Thank you very much for your time, for your interest, and for anyone who is watching, um, you are very welcome to explore our website and uh, please get in touch with some way and or with us and um, ask some questions. That would be appreciated. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Take care. Thank you. Bye.